Hey, Cal fans, and welcome to California Golden Blogs. Today, I'm going to preview the Ole Miss defense that we're going to see on September 16th. The most important thing to know about Ole Miss is that they like to disguise their defensive looks. And here we can see an example where they show a split safety look initially, but then blitz this outside linebacker and spin their safeties into a single high coverage shell. This rotation gives them an extra man in the box and helps them shut down the run, even though they'd initially shown a look with two high safeties. They can go in the opposite direction too, as we see here where they're going to bail this safety to play a deep half of the field and drop this outside linebacker over the slot receiver to play coverage. These kinds of rotations are going to put a lot of pressure on Bowers to make the right reads and to make sure that he's sending the ball to where the defense's weaknesses are after the snap instead of to where they seem to be before the snap. An important component of this confusion is their blitz package, and here we see a play where they line up with six defenders on the line of scrimmage. Now they're not going to bring all those guys, but before the snap it's impossible to know who's coming and who's not. In this case, they're going to drop the outside linebacker to the short side of the field, and he's going to take any hot routes to the tight end or to the running back, and then they're going to bring all three defenders on the right side of the formation to overload the left guard and left tackle. When Ole Miss brings the blitz on neutral downs, then they're going to have an extra defender in the box to stop the run, and so it's going to be really important that our wide receivers and quarterback are able to win on short slants underneath those manned-up defenders. These blitzes are also going to leave room for the creative use of formations to defeat them. If we look at this screen grab, for example, it looks a little bit strange that Ole Miss has three defenders all shifted to the left side of the center, and it seems like having that many guys shifted over there while there's no one in the space to the short side of the field is maybe a little bit unnecessary. Once we know that this middle defender is blitzing, however, then we can see that the other two guys actually aren't unnecessary, and that this linebacker has to be where he is outside of the box because he has to be ready to cover this number three receiver on the inside. But all of this is going to leave this linebacker all alone in the box, and when he gets cleared out by the running back, it's going to leave a void in the middle of the formation for this single wide receiver to win on his slant. If Old Miss had been able to leave a second linebacker in the box, then they would have had someone in the middle of the field to cut this slant. Instead, Southern Alabama is going to get one defender out of the box with their trips formation, Old Miss is going to take a second defender out of the box with their blitz, and that's going to leave this third defender all alone in the middle of the field. And if Cal's offensive coordinator can find a way to create these situations and to use Old Miss's blitzes against them, then we should be able to move the ball on Saturday.